Okay, um, so this is something that people don't really see. Um, what I'm going to show you is kind of um, after I have let my painting sit for a while, because uh, I always go in with detail. Um, that's just um, the MO. So now it's the fine detail. Um, that is something that I really don't show very often because I always say I'm just going to let it sit for a while and look at it. And that's what this one is. Something I did a while back. But you can see sometimes it's the fine detail that just pushes it over the top. Now this is stuff that people won't really even see. This is just for for my benefit. Um, so I'm going in with a kind of a lime green right now, just a little tint, just to add to the depth. Um, sometimes that's the difference between something that is almost finished and something that I feel more comfortable. I usually stop um, like 80% of what's here. So I've been into this doing all more, a lot more detail and bringing out things and, and blending and doing some highlights, especially right in here. Um, that is something that I just recently started working on. Um, and what's happening is like, you can see that there's a lot more depth to this. Um, in a previous video, I kind of stopped more like, oh, 80%. Um, and that's fine, uh, but I'm not, or I wasn't very happy with it. Um, but these things just keep on taking time and that's just the way I paint. So like, I'm just going to do some detail that this thing had no depth. It was very flat. So I went in here and just pulled out the color. You can see the highlight right here. That was not there. There's a darkness right here, but I'm thinking that there could be a little flash of sunlight coming in so i'm going to bring that out and then blend now this is kind of one of those things that well i say things kind of take a long time and they're never finished this is getting more close to i'm happy with it um and this is the part that nobody really sees because i don't want to prolong these videos because it's it's, I guess what I'm saying, it's my style. So it, it has the realism to a point where I feel comfortable. It's not the super scientific um, illustrations that I was required to do. You can see I'm just kind of building up. And every time I build up, there's another amount of layers coming in. Now, what I like to do right here is just kind of bring it out more. And I'll probably bring it out and then add a little bit of white to the very tips. That will, so it'll blend into that regular yellow and then in that lime green, you can see a little bit of a highlight right here. You can see that, and if I keep going a little bit, can you see it just like, there's a, well it's a slight difference, but it's, there's a difference between this and this. And that is what I'm looking for. So when I do this, it reflects on this and this even gets brighter. These are some of the little tiny things that um, I want to take my work to another level. Um, and that's just the requirement that I'm putting on myself. 
and um, it just uh, makes me a lot happier to see that this thing just keeps on growing and I could add more. And you can see there's a difference between this and this. Now, eventually, I'm not sure if I'll blend this over this and have that as a background, but everything's up in the air right now, so it may or it may just fizzle out or blend in or and those are some of the random things that can't be controlled it's kind of like okay well um it's working here it's not working here uh i wish i could change this it's kind of it it happens when it happens um and see now this is this is nice right here but i'm still going to come in here and make a hotter highlight now this may require just pulling out the color a little bit and then coming in with a little bit of white. I'm not sure. You see this one's really bright. And that, again, this bright right here going into the shadows pushes the depth. Same thing up here. I, this, this was all flat. It looked like this over here. Uh, I, hopefully you can see that. Um, I'm not sure you can see that. Yeah, you can. I haven't zoomed in yet, but um, it was all flat. It looked very similar to this and some of this. Now, just by spending a little bit more time, I kind of brought out the highlights, came in here and outlined things, pushed stuff back with the shadows, brought some stuff out with the highlights and blended. And all those little things are just minor little things that it only means something to me. Uh, most people wouldn't even think of doing that. But for me, it's like I always have str been striving to push it to the next level. Now, not I keep putting back my current level where I'm not doing the scientific, but I still have that that background. So I'm just blending and bringing it to somewhere in between um, scientific illustration and the new way of painting that has that I've been doing is what my instructions are trying to show what people can do with watercolors without you know uh, doing that quick simple finish a painting in 20 minutes. Um, some things um, I'm showing is just something that puts in my brain and I need to take it to the next level and the next level and slowly show detail, but not to the point where it's a scientific illustration. Um, and some scientific illustrations, if you like the detail, they're beautiful. Uh, they take a long time. I'm pulling out some highlights here just to give it a little bit more form. Um, and and I I did like you know doing scientific illustrations, and it helped me to be a better artist. But you know I it, I didn't have well I want to say I didn't have the control, but I I did have the control. It just um, the scientists were always looking for something that w wouldn't be my concern, but for them, it was something that they needed. Now, this is what I've been doing with this whole thing. Um, didn't work on the eel very much, uh, but I did work on the background of, and you can see it, there's like, I'm just pulling the color out and moving it around so you'll see the darkness coming in here and that is just the layering process and you can see it's, it has a little bit dark this is all going to be dark i won't go into this because that'll be more in the shadows now this is the way i'm going to be handling most of my paintings um, like I said, you'll see 80, 90 percent, and it's really not 80 or 90 percent. It's just 
it's 80 to 90 percent where I am stopping. Um, I will always go back in and add more detail. Um, and I, I, I think they look better. Um, they're not crazy detail, but it, I could see the little teeny things that excite me about watercolors. Now, this is something I couldn't do uh, 20 years ago, or I couldn't do this 10 years ago or five years ago. Um, my work on watercolors, because it's a love-hate relationship, uh, improves little by little when I'm looking for little teeny things and I'm discovering little teeny things that I didn't realize I could do. I'm going to blend this out and come into this. Blend into the purple. Now there, it, there is some highlights in this right here. And I'm going to handle this whole thing the same way. I, I went into and added like 300% more, even in this little highlights in here and, and blending and, and bringing things in and out. Um, now I'll probably, that is too hard. So I'll come in with some water and just barely just soften the edges a little bit. So you get what it's there, but it starts to soften and when, see like right in here, these are some of the little things that when I soften the edges, it gives it the detail, but like you're looking from a distance. How much time do I have in here? Okay. Um, I don't want to come in here too much uh, and keep on just doing it in one spot. So I work all over the place. Now, right here, um, this octopus was really prevalent in the very beginning because of this dark against this ochres, but it kind of disappeared. So now I'm going to come in. I'm going to leave some of that dark outline and just... And you can see there's, it. this is, looks flat. When I come in here, now that part is no longer flat. The octopus have textures. Now I'm coming in here. And now I'm putting these to give it a little bit more form. But these lines are way too bold. And again, and there's some really nice things. It's like this little bit of green blue blending into this color. And it gives it a the, the little bit of distance. So it looks like it's close here, but it's blending into the background a little bit more. And that is the subtle differences of pushing it to the next level for me. I don't like this little green thing that came in here. So I'll blend that out. Now, it, you can see the hard lines, but oh, that's too much. And just that little dabbing of blending doesn't really come out as super bold. It just leaves a little texture. Maybe that right here, this brown, will bleed into this ochre. slowly coming in and it's those things that are tiny um i'm going to do a, a zoom in and then that will be the end of that 
Okay, so I'm going to come into here. And you can see what I'm talking about with the detail in here and adding more. And you can see the levels. It almost looks like the way I would do lung bronchioles. Um, the detail, you can see some highlights on that fish right there. And you can see the depth of that one versus this. So, and just come in a little bit more. You can see the octopus coming in there. Um, there's just layers upon layers. And even when I'm looking at it right now, I'm still seeing things that I would change up. Um, but it's the next level for me. But anyway, so I'm going to stop it there. Hello, um, I'm Steve Melendres, a model maker, illustrator, scientific illustrator, sculptor, design after history museum in Los Angeles. Done a lot of different things, um, but I'm going to be doing watercolor demonstrations of the techniques I've developed over the years. Um, and it's going to go from a lot of different directions. And also I'm going to be doing videos uh, I call them video posters for my daughter. So a lot of stuff that I can leave to my daughter about her crazy dad. <laughs> so um, I'm taking a lot of different directions, but mainly three. Um, so anyway, that's my introduction that I'm going to attach to every thing I'm doing now. So I don't have to repeat this. Be careful out there.